it's fabric, then glue. the gift wrap the glue, with the glue. Yeah. The gift the gift wrap, another layer of glue, and on top is um, some tissue paper. Yes. Okay. And this is the tissue paper I get from the craft store, and it's actually called craft tissue. Now, why do you have to use why do you like to use craft tissue? Because when you press it down and you go back and forth like this, if you've got gift wrap tissue, it will just all come away on the brush. This okay. is just a little, a little bit, bit stronger. stronger. Okay. Yeah. So it takes um, just a couple of pieces and you don't have to wait for anything to dry, just you know, plop it on while it's all wet. Oh, so the layer underneath doesn't have to dry first? No. Okay. So that's the final piece. So then we've just got the last stage, which is the colour. So I'll just take one of these brushes. So while it's wet, um, oh, the colour I use, I like to use these golden fluid acrylics. Um, and some of these uh, are quinacridone, which are, are quite transparent, but I still water them down again because you've gone to all the trouble here of getting all these designs and you don't want your paint too opaque and then lose what's underneath. You know, that's true, the quinacridone colors, that the that golden, I love them. Like It's quinacridone, um, nickel, azo, gold. I say that ten times fast, but that's one that I, I, I tend to buy in bulk the because they? they're really, really gorgeous colors. So, so you, water, you water these down, right? I because they're them. very, very saturated. Because that one, it's come through quite strong mm -hmm. and you can't always see what's underneath, but you can just play with it. Or maybe you like it like that, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I often don't change brushes either. So let just the colors run in. in. So you're getting a little bit of violet there. Yeah, so of course you're red and you're blue, you get the purpley mm -hmm. violet color. So then some green, let it mix in. And then some yellow. It's already turning into something. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And it's integrating the designs, all those various pieces of gift wrap underneath. That's right, yeah. yeah. So there you are, that piece is finished now. So. Well, let's, um, why don't I take this off to the side for you and I can show everybody um, what this looks like finished. So I'm gonna take, should I take the plastic wrap yeah. too? Or do you need that for the next one? No, you've I've got, got it. I've got some more. Okay, I'll just fold that up carefully. Put this off and here's one after it's dried. Yes. This one I used really, really wet. I put lots of water in this, so it really runs. And it's, it's a nice effect. It also affects the patterning underneath. It takes the dye away from some of the print, but that's good as well, you know. Mm -hmm. No, it's very, very beautiful. And, then and that's this another is, example? Yeah, yeah. And of course, there's hearts on there, so I would cut out a square and then embroider the heart. Okay. Find more DVDs and hundreds of great products at innerweavestore.com. Read about the latest art quilting, sewing, and mixed media books at interweave.com.